Now we will highlight an example from the Design for Good pillar through which we assist organizations with product design, development, or implementation. This year, we partnered with a nonprofit, Bridges to Prosperity, on a project at the intersection of transport, infrastructure, and data analytics. We are joined today by Ms. Abby Noriega, the VP of Evaluation of Bridges to Prosperity. Welcome, Abby. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, as, as she mentioned, I'm Abby Noriega with Bridges to Prosperity. We build trail bridges so that people can reach essential destinations. Uh, we currently have programs in Uganda and Rwanda with evaluation work in Ethiopia and Zambia and Cote d'Ivoire. Um, so for years, we've had anecdotal, uh, anecdotal evidence that B2P trail br bridges influence the sizes of the, the paths and roads they connect. When we heard from the Autodesk Foundation about the opportunity to apply for support um, of an E4C fellow, we thought this would be an ideal way to try and answer this question. So the project leveraged existing satellite imagery of completed B2P trail bridges in Rwanda and Uganda to determine changes in the width of the walking paths and roads within a specified distance, um, both before and after bridge construction. So as Abdul will explain, there were detectable changes in the sizes of the adjacent paths. This was really exciting to find and adds to evidence from other studies we've done that bridges don't just make existing crossings safer, they increase pedestrian movement within a region and very likely influence local economies, school attendance, healthcare access in a really significant way. Um, we will be building on this work by incorporating it into ongoing research about the impact of improved access in rural communities. Um, so Abdul was a particularly good fit um, for this project because he has a very specific skill set we were seeking um, around remote sensing and was able to understand the problem and come up with an effective approach really quickly um, in uh, an area of work where there's frankly a dearth of data. Um, in fact, we'd love to continue working with Abdul however we can. We're trying hard to um, have him uh, work with us in a continued way. Um, and I'd love to introduce you um, to our E4C fellow over to you, Abdul, to explain a little bit more about this project and your experience. Uh, thank you very much, Abby. So uh, my name is Abdul Rashid Musa. I am a PhD student at the University of Missouri. I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa. So I'm a transportation engineer. I specialize in big data analysis, spatial statistical modeling, and applied artificial intelligence in transportation safety and systems optimization. Uh, so I had the pleasure of working with Bridges to Prosperity during the E4C fellowship. And uh, I'll describe the experience as enlightening and humbling, uh, as I was able to be part of a project that was uh, improving in shape and the course of the lives of people in a real world setting. Uh, the main outcomes of the project uh, were proof of the value of the presence of these trail bridges in increasing connectivity and active mobility within these regions. And uh, as an individual building on my skill sets in spatial analytics, computer vision modeling, uh, this experience was invaluable for me to apply what I know. Um, my biggest takeaway from the fellowship was uh, becoming more familiar and especially more involved uh, within the engineering for development spaces, uh, engineering for global development spaces, um, the E4C fellowship um, with the learning modules that we were engaged in was a wealth of uh, information that, you know, allowed me to expand on what I already know. And I'm incredibly grateful for that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul, and thank you, Abby, and special thank you for the Autodesk Foundation who sponsored both of the projects that we've just showcased um, this year. Really phenomenal partnership for us, and we're so incredibly grateful. 